In the animal kingdom, different species have different relationships, and like a lot of things in biology, these have big words. So let us explain symbiotic relationships with demonstrations by the human species. The first kind of symbiotic relationship is mutualism. The clownfish and the sea anemone living together with mutual benefit. Just like here, our two humans, Jade and Beck, are having a wonderful relationship over their dinner. Would you like some of my fruit? Whatever they put into the relationship, they get something in return. Mutualism is mutually beneficial. Number two is parasitism. Cuckoo birds lay their eggs in other birds' nests, and when that bird is born, it pushes those eggs out and the mother raises the other bird's offspring. In humans, an example of parasitism is where Jade takes Beck's food. This pisses Beck off because she has no food and is sad and hungry. Why? No, you can't take my food, that's my food! Commensalism is where one animal benefits from another animal without causing harm, like lions who kill their victims and leave the carcass leftovers for the vultures. Let's look at our humans. See how Beck has finished her food. She clearly doesn't want it anymore, and so Jade, being the garbage guts that she is, takes it and is most pleased with herself. Finally, a mensalism, where one species accidentally harms another. Take climate change for instance, humans create a warmer atmosphere which melts ice caps and harms polar bears. And here is Beck, chewing her food very loudly and just being gross. She is completely oblivious to the fact that her grossness is ruining Jay's experience. Disgusting. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.